volcanoes on the big island. So Linda says, uh, she says, uh, when can I move there? Uh, I'm a registered nurse uh, in living in Orange County. By the way, I have a typo here. It's not Linda, it's Leah. So uh, I apologize, Leah, uh, for making that mistake, but it says Leah. Uh, I'm a registered nurse living in Orange County, California. I would love to move to Hawaii one day. I love Kailua, Oahu. I think you live there. Actually, I don't live there, but I drive by there a lot. So, so me and the Porsche are, are doing a lot of drives in Kailua because it is such a beautiful spot. My family, husband and five-year-old daughter, we go there every year, except this year due to COVID-19. While we love Kailua on Oahu, we can't afford to live there. So we're thinking of purchasing a place, perhaps a condo in Kailua, Kona on the Big Island. Our concern is the active volcanoes on the Big Island. Please let us know what you think of Kailua, Kona. Should we consider it? Thank you so much for your response. Take care, Leah. So... Dylan, you know, is so you've got Leah here who loves Kailua on the Big Island, and maybe she picked Kailua Kona because the names are the same. I'm not really too sure why she does why she picked that one. But what would you tell someone? Because you're familiar with Oahu, obviously, Dylan. What would you tell someone who loves Kailua and is thinking, "Hey, Kailua Kona, what's up, that? And what's what what's what is it about the lava flows?" Fill us in, Dylan. Well, first off, I did live in Oahu for a couple of years, and I lived in Kailua, and it was uh, very, what I learned about it was Kailua Oahu is very similar to Kailua Kona, just in terms of the vibe and the people that are there and, um, you know, the demographics and stuff. It's very, it's very similar. The beaches in Kailua Oahu are much nicer. We have nice beaches in Kailua Kona, but uh, you have those big, long, white, sandy beaches, which are beautiful. So very similar. If you want that type of vibe, definitely, I think you would um, fit right in in Kailua Kona also. So on the volcano topic, Except, I, Dylan, if, if I can just quickly yep. interrupt, I just wanted to highlight that point that, that you made, which is really, really cool. So for Leah, it's like Dylan's like the best guy on the planet. He lived, <laughs> he lives, <laughs> lived in Kailua for a bunch of years and now is living in, in, in Kona. You just can't get more. I, I, I got to brag about you, Dylan. You just can't get more qualified uh, than yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, okay. I, I do want to interrupt. I've got a slide for you. You want to talk about the lava flows, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. In general, the the lava is not an issue on the Big Island. Um, that's something that you know people are definitely concerned about. But the reality is, we do have active volcanoes, but they the scientists create lava zones on the Big Island, and this affects insurance. And um, they use these ratings in order to figure out how likely you are to get uh, active lava flow in your area. And so, if you look at this map, those two little skinny red strips on the the kind of southwest side of the island are the areas that are lava zone one so those are the ones that have the highest uh likelihood of, of getting a lava flow and actually on the that right tip of the island is where the lava flow was in 2018. so their prediction was pretty good it was right uh in leilani estates which is right in the smack dab middle of lava zone one and that's where the lava came up since 2018 there's been no volcanic activity at all. And previous to 2018, there was constant volcanic activity since 1983. So it's almost the first time in my life that we haven't had active flows on the island. And one of the benefits of that is we don't have any bog right now. There's no volcanic haze because of that. But the reality is 95% of the island is completely safe from um, the lava very far away. If you look uh, that 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 orange patch that has the four on it is lava zone four. That's where Kailua Kona is. So you're pretty much on the opposite side of where the active uh, volcano is. So you're very safe on the, on the west side. And as you basically the north side of the island has the older volcanoes. And so like the, where it says nine at the tip top of the island is the, is the lowest uh, lava zone rating. And you basically have no, no chance of getting lava up there. So in general, don't worry about it. It's here, um, but it doesn't threaten most of us. And nowadays, you obviously wouldn't buy property anywhere near Lava Zone 1. <laughs> or you shouldn't anyway. You still can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Don't buy Lava Zone 1, yeah. I just I just had an inquiry two days ago from somebody saying, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about this property? It looks like a great value. And I looked it up, and sure enough, it was in Leilani Estates, right where the lava was. So, of course, you get a huge, beautiful house for like 200000 there because you can't get insurance, and you basically had lava flows right through your neighborhood two years ago. 
Yeah. So uh, if if I, I suppose if you like hot lava flows going through the back of your house and potentially burning your house up, that's a that that would be a, a risk you might be wanting to take. You know, a, a really cool thing, just a sightseeing thing, is now that it's all stopped, you know, it's totally safe, and you can go back into Leilani Estates and you can literally drive down the streets, and there will be forty foot high walls of lava that were flowing through that neighborhood and then there's people living right next to it i mean the houses that didn't get taken people move back in you know they pull those roads back in and people are still living there so it's it's really kind of trippy and surreal to drive through there and see that there is active lava flows and people still live there and some some places the ground is still steaming you know because there's activity wow. down below and it's it's really wet there so when the water goes down into the cracks well, it steams that, back when, up. when it rains all the steam comes out right right yeah. right you know that one—that is one thing that was really cool about uh, the Big On. We lived there actually uh, in '91. Um, actually, uh, lived on that side, and I always, what I really kind of tripped out on is I, I thought it was like this this you know, amazing. Uh, you could literally, you know, drive back through time, so to speak. You could you could drive back to the primordial earth at the very, very, very beginning of time, right? You get some kind of with the fresh lava, completely you know, fresh black, nothing but black, just pure black rock. And right. And you could, and then you could kind of drive to a little bit further and you'd see the, the, uh, the moss or the fungus, I forgot what it's called, but there's that white, what's that white fungus called? I forgot what it's called. Um, anyway, but there's like a white kind of a, a fungus that kind of, that, that was like the next stage where there was this white stuff. And then, and then you'd see, you know, you go further out, then you'd see like ferns, the ferns would kind of grow on the white fungus and kind of work their roots into the, into the rock. And then you drive further on there and there'd be trees and be kind of, you could actually kind of drive through time. It was just the coolest thing. I, I really kind of thought it was trippy. Hey, Dylan, that, that, um, I got to say that, um, uh, the, what really stuck out to me on this lava flow map is the, um, uh, the, the Kailua Kona side being a lava zone four, which is cool. Doesn't, doesn't, where, where is Hilo over here? Isn't like zone one almost going through where's, where's Hilo on, on, on this map actually. So Hilo's on the, um, that little bump and bay that you can see, right. Um, it's it's north of where the the lava zone one area is, so it's actually oh, I see. In, okay. I see now. Hilo, yeah. it's just where it says by that line by Mauna Kea, where that Mauna exactly. Kea line goes all the way yep. to the right. Okay, okay, yep. all right. So it's, it. it's lava yeah. zone three primarily, and then right out, you know, right north of Hilo, it's lava zone eight. So, uh, it really can change dramatically based on the topography of the island because if you have you know if you have a ridge, one side of it can be lava zone two, but the other side of the ridge can be eight because of where the volcano is located. Can't uh, yeah, lava does not climb mountains uh, yeah. for the most part. Yeah, and uh, actually, if I if I look at this map now, I realize that we lived in uh, uh, just outside of Pahoa Town, which uh, right now is a combination of lava zone uh, one, one two. or two. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep, pretty much. That's why we got our land so so cheap. We we're you know, young and stupid. <laughs> this is back in my late twenties, and uh, you know, my wife and I bought our first property. I thought it was thought it was a deal. Uh, it, it was a, it was a great experience for that's for sure. Okay. Um, Let's Quick question, uh, Peter, for sure, Dylan. Sure, sure, Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Dylan, um, is it still Lava Zone 1 and 2 that you cannot get insurance in? Or if, because when I was, I remember when I was there, Lava Zone 1 was out. Lava Zone 2, you had to go to Lloyd's of London to be able to get the insurance. And then Lava Zone 3 and up, you were good. It was kind of just standard practice. No, it's pretty easy to get insurance in Lava Zone 2. Um, the premium might be a little bit higher, like 100, 200 bucks a year. It's not very much more. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to get insurance in lava zone one right now obviously after the the flows there's this is maybe a topic for another a future show but there's a long political history on why we even have development in lava zone one and the state did some funky things where they kind of forced companies to give people insurance so it encouraged building in lava zone one I mean, it encouraged bad behavior that wasn't uh subject to common sense and that's why we have neighborhoods in those areas where we really shouldn't Bad behavior, not subject to common sense. Hmm, that's like a <laughs> encouraged like by a, the encouraged by the state government. Encouraged <laughs> by the state. Hmm, geez, those <laughs> those those three topics. See, always kind of seem to kind of fit together, don't they? Yeah. I, I I wonder what is with that. It's not just unique to Hawaii, unfortunately. 